good morning everyone everyone mark your attendance okay uh, i start my today's session so in last class uh, i am discussing about your traffic speed study so in that model i am discussing or in that session i am discussing how our traffic speed study will be done so what is the basic requirement or basic parameters by which our Uh, speed traffic speed study will be done. So I think I cover all the traffic speed studies, like your spot speed, average speed, like your running speed, travel speed. So broadly, I uh, discuss these all kinds of speeds, and also I discuss what are the different factors on which our traffic speed will depends. So today, my next point of discussion is your origin and destination study. so i am discussing for today origin and destination study so just wait <clears throat> So next point of discussion is our origin and destination study. So just you all focus here. Origin and So our next point of discussion is origin and destination study. So basically, origin and destination in origin and destination study, we discuss about from where our vehicle will originate and where our vehicle will go. So basically, if you observe here, just take an example that here is your home, and from your home, you start your vehicle or this is your home. basically from your home if you start a journey if you start a journey so this is the direction of your journey so from here from home you start a journey and 
then you also maneuvering some roads or traveling on a certain roads you came to your college so this is basically your college so this is the direction of travel basically this is the direction of travel basically this is the direction of travel so from here from here from home you start your journey and at college you end your journey so basically this is you all know this is your origin so this is your origin this is your origin and this is your destination and this is your destination this is your origin and this is your destination so from origin you start your journey and at destination you end your journey so in traffic engineering we have also deal with this origin and destination study so origin and destination study gives the information on the actual location or zone of origin of travel of a vehicle and their destination so here we see from this zone or from this area so from this zone so this is our origin zone this is our origin zone and this is our this is our destination zone so we all know origin and destination study will gives us the information on the actual location or zone of origin of travel of vehicle and their destination so if, if here if we uh, see from our home or we start our journey and up to college we in double journey so basically home is our origin or zone of origin and college is our destination or we also call it as our zone of destination so the studies provide details such as direction of travel here in bc here in bc if we mark this as your north direction this is your north direction this is your south direction this is your south direction this is your east direction and this is your west direction so on origin and destination study we uh, uh, we find the details of various things like direction of travel also we find we find selection of routes so uh, here we get certain things first each we know direction of route we know direction of route we know direction of route next here this is the direction of route that means in east direction in east direction east direction is our direction of route east direction here mbc 
we start our journey from east direction then we go to south direction here is our south direction then we go to east direction also then again we go south direction again we go east direction again we go south direction again we go east direction again we go north direction and again we go east direction so here we we from origin and destination study we get first our direction of route next thing we get is our selection of route so basically here also we get selection of route that means on which route uh, or on on what route we travel so selection of route is our next thing which we get from our this origin and destination study next is your selection of route next point we get is our travel length or trip length so third point we get is our trip length our trip length that means how much distance we travel that means this is our x1 if we consider a huge another color so if you just observe here so if so if this is x1 this is x2 this is x3 this is x4 this is x5 this is x6 this is x7 this is x8 this is x9 then we get our trip length as summation of all the length at that means x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus up to x9 so basically from origin and destination study we also get the direction of route we also get selection of route and also we get our trip length next we get its frequency and number of such trip and number of individual traveling on a particular trip so basically on Uh, origin and destination study third point who we who we get each number four it basically your frequency frequency of trip so how many time you travel on this particular road so from observing this road if you see on this particular road or that means from traveling to your home to college the frequency of route you fulfill each only one so also from destination and origin study we get the frequency of our route next point is uh, number of individual traveling in particular trip so basically here from here we also get the number of vehicle or number of individual who will travel on a particular route so origin and destination study each another part of your 
ट्रैफिक स्टडी इन योर ट्रैफिक इंजीनियरिंग सो बेसिकली ओरिजिन इन द पॉइंट फ्रॉम वेयर वी स्टार्ट आवर जर्नी एंड डेस्टिनेशन इज द पॉइंट वेयर वी इन आवर जर्नी आई थिंक दिस ऑल थिंग्स यू कैन बियर विथ दिज वर्ल्ड सो नेक्स्ट इफ बी टेक एन एग्जाम्पल दैट फ्रॉम होम इफ बी इफ बी स्टार्ट आवर जर्नी एंड अप टू कॉलेज बी इन आवर जर्नी सो बेसिकली होम इज योर ओरिजिन एंड कॉलेज इज योर डेस्टिनेशन सो होम इज योर जोन ऑफ ओरिजिन एंड कॉलेज योर जोन ऑफ डेस्टिनेशन सो वाट आर द थिंग्स फ्रॉम विच वी गेट आवर ओरिजिन एंड डेस्टिनेशन स्टडी और द डिटेल्स विच वी गेट फ्रॉम ओरिजिन एंड डेस्टिनेशन स्टडी इज फर्स्ट डायरेक्शन ऑफ रूट सो बेसिकली ओरिजिन एंड डेस्टिनेशन स्टडी विल गिव्स ऑन विच डायरेक्शन बी मूव सो हियर इट बी ऑब्जर्व ऑन ईस्ट डायरेक्शन बी ऑब्जर्व दैन ऑन साउथ दैन अगेन ऑन ईस्ट दैन अगेन ऑन साउथ दैन अगेन ऑन ईस्ट दैन अगेन ऑन साउथ एंड सो ऑन सो बेसिकली वी गेट हियर आवर डायरेक्शन ऑफ रूट नेक्स्ट इज आवर सेलेक्शन ऑफ रूट सो बेसिकली हियर वी गेट दिस इज वी हैव मेनी रूट सो सपोज इफ वी हैव मेनी रूट सो दिस दिस इज एन अदर रूट from here and this route is going like this then this route is coming here then is this route is coming here and again this route is going like this and again this route is coming to your college so this is another route so basically we do not uh, we do not take this route so it's just take an example from your home many routes will originate for a your market but only one route will be required by you to travel from your home to your market in same manner here be be choose or be select a particular route for traveling from home to our college so basically origin and destination study will gives of which route will be selected by us for traveling next is your trip length so basically trip length is here our trip length is x1 plus x2 because these are our length which our vehicle will travel from coming home to college so we here from here we get our trip length also next is frequency of route so basically frequency of route is given as how much time or uh, during this origin and destination study how much time we travel on this particular route and last one is your number of individual traveling in particular trip or number of vehicle which will traveling on this particular route so basically origin and destination studies find their application in so i write all the applications so just observe here so applications applications on o and b stand so it's in an destination stand so what are the various applications of o and d study so basically o and d study origin and des destination study find their application in to judge the adequacy of existing route so basically from here we judge the just tell right here to judge the adequacy of existing route a 
adequacy of existing routes next to get it to establish design standard so basically this is another application to design standards for road to design standards for road that means here we talking about here geometric design to design standards of road next to locate expressway and major roads to locate expressway and major roads So these are the various application of our O and D study. So origin and study and destination study will find their application in to judge the adequacy of existing roads. Next, to design a standard of roads or standards of road. Next is here to locate expressway and major roads. So we have different different applications of O and D that means origin and destination study. Next. to locate new bridge as per traffic demand so also we design or we make new bridge as our traffic demand by uh, by finding origin and destination study because if you if you observe that for a particular route or a particular section of road many vehicle or the frequency of uh, vehicle or frequency of road user is high that is there is a chances of congestion on that particular road so you have to be designed that road by considering all the standards of your uh, existing route so basically also if we uh, see if there is a bottleneck situation or there is a high chances of congestion on that road so we design a bridge or we design a flyover as our traffic demand next is to identify potential congestion point so basically by by finding or by uh, studying our origin and destination study we find what are the various points of our congestions and what are the various points of our conflicting so basically we find on which on which route many number of vehicle will passing or where our congestions of that vehicle will occur and also where our all the vehicles will conflict so these are all the applications which we get in our origin and destination study so these are all uh, applications of your origin and destination study basically your origin and destination study can be carried out by various methods so we have various method uh, uh, available for our traffic engineers or for fulfilling these origin and destination study so i discussed all the methods one by one so our next point of discussion is origin and destination study which can be carried out by various methods so what are the different methods on which origin and destination study will be carried out so basically here we write different methods just wait 
different methods. Different methods. Different methods. Oh, and the yesterday. So these are the different methods. I think I discuss below. These are the different methods. From there, we carried our O and D, that means origin and destination study. So, first method with which we carried our O and D study is first is your roadside interview method. So, first is your roadside interview method. First is your roadside interview method. Next method from which we get our origin and destination study is your license plate method. So, second is your license plate method. License plate method. Third is your return postcard method. Third is your return postcard method. Return. postcard method next is your tag on car method what is your tag on car method so we just fix a tag on car and we get our origin and destination study tag on car method so these are all methods for your origin and destination study and all these methods are asked in your various examinations so you all keep all these methods in your mind for example they give license plate method is used for your spot speed study for your origin and destination study for your traffic characteristic study and for your traffic volume study so you have to be Keep this thing in your mind that license plate method is used for your origin and destination study. Roadside interview method is used for your uh, origin and destination study. Return postcard method is used for your origin and destination study. Tag on car method is used on 
for your origin and destination study and the last method is home interview method so fifth one is your fifth one is your home interview method home home interview method Home interview method. So these are basically five methods from which we carried our origin and destination study. First one is your roadside interview method. So basically, origin and destination study can be presented in any of the following form. So basically, origin and destination table are prepared showing number of trips between different zones. Also. Desired lines are plotted, which is a graphical representation prepared in your origin and destination study. So, uh, basically, straight lines connecting to origin point, which destination point will be taken, and this is known as your desired line. So, the breadth of such desired line is drawn proportional to the number of trip in both the direction or also on the direction where we move, and also the desired line density map helps to decide. The actual desire of the road user with respect to the path um, followed between two points. So these are also we have to be kept in mind. So first uh, method which from uh, which we carried our origin destination study is our basically first roadside interview method. So here, if many time you observe here from on this particular route, so this is this is your vehicle and from your vehicle. You just you just passing a certain cross section of a road or certain section of a road. So basically, this is a certain section of a road. Here, one one policeman will stand, and in in the hand of a policeman, a notebook is also present. So he he just come when you traveling from this section. Then if you come to this section, then this policeman. Will will stop uh, your vehicle and ask from you from where you coming and where uh, where you are going. So uh, for your purpose, you mark something on this notebook. Next, another vehicle is coming. So from this direction, another vehicle is coming. Another vehicle is coming. So when this vehicle is traveling from this section, the policeman also stop this vehicle and ask the driver of this vehicle that. Where you are going, and from where you coming. So from this manner, he he take an interview of the driver, and he mark all the things in in his or her notebook, and from his notebook, our experts of traffic engineers will find the origin and destination study. Next is your license plate method. So from license plate method. you all observed that every vehicle have their own license and the vehicle have also their uh, vehicle number behind that vehicle so basically from that vehicle number they observed that from which district or from which state maximum number of vehicle will passing through that particular section so also this is another method from which we uh, find our origin and destination study next is your return postcard method so this is another method so basically this is another method so what what would what the policeman do when you are moving from a particular section then he gave a postcard that means he gave a postcard to you and ask you so if you you go to your destination and when you are returning from your destination when you are returning from destination at this particular section you will return this post postcard so from that manner he also find our origin and destination study from this return postcard method next is your tag on car method so basically from tag on car method 
so this method is very popular that on on your car you mark a tag and if you, when you are moving on a particular stretch then then automatically a sensor will uh, i think a sensor will be uh, will automatically develop in this tag so a sensor will give a signal or give a sign that you are moving from this route to this route so basically this is another method for finding origin and destination start next is your home interview method that means on home interview method such like uh, sensors 4 uh, to 3 or 3 to 4 people will go to your home and ask from your parents or also ask from you that how many number of vehicle is present in your home how many person will uh, will go from uh, your home in morning or in evening or in afternoon or which purposes they and they go or many many question they ask from your parents or uh, sometime from you so basically these are different methods of our origin and destination study so you all to remember these all the methods of carrying your origin and destination study because which questions are generally asked in your examinations so keep these points in your mind next next thing next thing is your i think desired line so uh, about desired line i already discussed but what i am saying that the structure here yeah. so here if you see origin and destination table are prepared showing number of trips between different zones so basically we have origin and destination table and on that table be prepared number of trip between different zones so here we have this zone zone a so for this zone be prepare number of trip so this zone is about this zone is a and how many number of trip will be taken suppose we have x number of trip so for b zone how many number of trip has been done so suppose we have y y number of trip so basically we have to prepare a origin and destination table and from that table we show number of trip between different zones next is our desired line so i already said desired lines are plotted which is a graphical representation in o and d study so in you also keep this point in mind that in many examination they ask what is desired line so and where we use desired line so desired lines are generally plotted between our o and d study so during o and d study that means origin and destination study we plot our desired line so basically desired line is a graphical representation of our origin and destination study so desired line is a straight line connecting the origin points with destination so if you uh, if you see here if you see here this is your point a this is your point suppose i just erase this point let's see here so basically if you have if you have a point a So suppose that this is your point A, and this is point B. This is point B. This is your destination. This is your destination. and this is your origin so we have the desired line so this line we call as desired line so this line is our desired line so basically desired line is the line which connects our origin with our destination so these are all about origin and destination study in next session i am discussing about your uh, i think uh, accident study and and also 
so in our parking study so basically origin and destination study in chopper and you kept this thing in your mind that basically origin and study origin and destination study can also be represented in the form of your pie chart or contour times so uh, thank you in next session i am continuing with your parking study and within 5 to 10 minutes i start our next session so just wait thank you